semester is almost over and the softball season is halfway through. The varsity and JV softball teams have made it to district. The players have been working since the fall semester preparing for the season. The coaches and players feel very good about the direction the team is headed. How do you feel the softball season has gone this year? Um, it has gone really good. I'm very excited that you, along with so many other girls, um, took the leap to come out and be a part of the softball program this year. It's the first time in, I believe, four or five years that we've had a JV program, so I'm really excited about building a new foundation and growing and getting girls to come out and learn the game of softball. What do you think the strengths are of this season? I think our biggest strength is our senior leadership. We have four seniors on our team this year and they have been fantastic leaders and mentors to the younger girls on the team, especially the new girls that came out as freshmen this year. Um, by far that has been our biggest strength. We are very proud of our Lady Raccoons. Come out and support the team. A big crowd can motivate the team even more. You can attend the game tonight against the Colony at the Colony High School softball field. JV plays at 5.30 p.m. and Varsity plays at 7 p.m. Let's make tonight a big hit. For RICC TV, I'm Willa Womady. AP Psychology is one of the most interesting elective courses offered to 10th through 12th graders at Frisco High School. The teacher, Ms. Russell, covers information that makes students think about the world around them. I hope that they get a heightened social emotional understanding, that they can understand their actions as well as their actions of other people. I hope that it allows them and helps them to strengthen relationships, develop empathy, um, especially because they're going to be learning so much about human behavior and patterns. Some of the most fun topics that are covered are social psychology, abnormal psychology, development, cognition, and sensation and perception. According to Ms. Russell, students will obtain a better understanding of themselves and others by taking this course. This is one elective that most students in the class look forward to. One thing that I learned that I thought was interesting was different behaviors by people um, and like why people act in certain ways. I thought that was pretty interesting. I really liked learning about the Stanford Prison Experiment because it was really cool to see how people's roles adjusted how they acted. It appears that students currently in the class enjoy taking it, but some students that aren't in the class seem a little mind boggled about psychology. Do you know what AP Psychology is? No. What even is AP Psychology? No, because I don't know what the class is about. No, but I'm really interested in taking it next year. According to College Board to clear up any confusion, the AP Psychology class introduces students to the systematic and scientific study of human behavior and mental processes. And if students wish, they can take the AP exam in May, which has a passing rate of 58%. AP Psychology is a fun and interactive course that you should think about for your schedule next year. By the way, schedule changes for next year's classes are due today, April 14th, to your counselor for any last minute changes. You'd be insane not to take AP Psychology. For RACC TV, I'm Jackson Verwick. Hey seniors, prom is six weeks away. Have you started thinking about how you're going to pay for it? If you buy tickets early, they're $55, and past April 20th, they will cost you $65. Guys, that means that you'll be spending over $100 for you and your date just to go to the dance. Add in the cost of your tux, dinner, and a limo, and you're practically pulling money out of your college fund. RACC TV finds out how much is prom really going to cost you. Dang, prom took all my money. Prom dresses come in as many different prices as they do sizes. If you're shopping thrifty at JCPenney, you can find a prom dress priced anywhere from $70 to $100. Dresses from Jessica McClintock will cost you anywhere from $100 to $300. And those gorgeous designer dresses from Neiman Marcus are priced from $700 to $4,000. Tuxedo rentals run between $100 to $200, depending on the style and designer. Yeah, it was. That food was good. Oh, yeah. crap. I, that means I owe, you, I owe you that, like, five bucks, don't I? All right, hold on. Yeah. Let, me, let me figure it out. That sucks. Prom took all my money. Be sure to make dinner reservations ahead of time because popular restaurants are sure to be packed for prom. A nice steakhouse costs about $150 to $200 for two people. Going in a group is a good idea because you can get a restaurant like Maggiano's to cater for a little over $20 per person. 
Or, if you've already spent all of your money on your tickets and what you are wearing to prom, you can always hit up Taco Bell for under five bucks. Hi, how are you today? Prom took all my money. A 22-person Hummer limo rental for eight hours is $1,850. So that's about $84 per person if you have that big of a group. A 10-passenger limo is about $71 per person, and driving your own car will cost you about five bucks in gas to get there and back. A corsage will cost about $40, and party supplies for afterwards are gonna cost you two. For the record, by party supplies, I mean soda, balloons, and streamers. Prom can cost around $800, or half that if you and your date go Dutch. We asked FHS students the question, who's paying for prom? I believe the guy should pay for like everything, besides the dress for the girl. Other than that, uh, the guy should pay for the limo, the tickets, and basically everything else that's needed. Are you serious? Probably paying for everything. I will be paying for everything this year. I'm going to pay for everything. Um, it's expected, and I'd feel weird if I let her pay for something. Prom is without a doubt an expensive event, but it's your senior year and you only get one senior prom. And who knows, if we write to the government, then maybe we'll get a portion of the bailout to pay for our expenses. For RACC-TV, I'm Ashley Milliken.